Hey, what's up guys? Chelsea Briggs here, coming to you from the famous Capitol Records Studio A, hanging out with Mr. Connor Maynard. Woo! She's got my engine started. This happens every time. I see a pretty girl. I wanna make a mine. I always love coming to the States. Um, LA is one of my favorite places to come to, so you know, it's, it's, it's fun, it's always fun. Absolutely, you performed today. Yes, my first ever show stateside, actually, so it was a big moment. I want to kind of hear about your background, starting on YouTube, but yes. like many musicians today, which is so cool. Yeah, when I was probably about 15, um, I started uploading covers to YouTube because I remember I was walking down the road from school one day and um, I was just kind of singing, messing around with one, with one of my friends, and this girl kind of overheard me singing and she kind of turned around and came up to him and was like, do that again? So I sang again, she's like, you can sing! She's really absolutely crazy. And then, yeah, so it kind of urged me, it gave me a bit of confidence. Like, maybe I should kind of do something to do with singing. And then um, I started to record covers. I shouldn't be much longer, but you shouldn't have to wait. Can't lose you, can't help it. I'm so sorry, I'm so selfish. I remember kind of a few, it was actually quite a few years later, actually, when I was kind of um, getting more into my covers. It actually became something that I really enjoyed doing. Wait, so that girl, is that girl still a big part of your life? Yes, I made sure I kind of, I always kind of thank her. I actually saw her a few weeks ago, really? so it was really nice to see her. Well, I looked today and can't say no, you're single. Yes. Um, it's almost a nine million yeah, views on that's YouTube. Exactly, so that's, that's crazy. Have you been surprised by the response? Yeah, I don't really know how it worked. Like, I thought, you know, you, you release a song in the UK and maybe like a few weeks later it kind of it kind of makes its place in the top 20 and your mum kind of says, well done. I thought that's how it worked. But, you know, first week, strength at number two was, was incredible. And you just released your first single in the US, Vegas Girl. Yeah, well, it's kind of, it's coming up very soon. Um, we're going to be pushing, um, you know, Vegas Girl as the first single over here. Who is this Vegas Girl, Connor? Um, <laughs> well, this girl, um, I write to her sometimes, she's from Vegas now. Um, <laughs> No, I've, well, the funny thing is I've never actually been to Vegas. I was going to so ask I was you that. Kind of, I suppose it's for me, it was like a bit of a guess what Vegas is like. Okay. For me, whenever I go out, I love seeing girls that are out that just lose themselves and love to party. Not girls, you know, very like, you know, stand there with their drink and just kind of like, talk, <laughs> talk to people. I think it's better when you see a girl like going crazy on the dance floor and you're like, woo, <laughs> next to them. So I kind of wrote a song about, you know, a girl that loves to party. Um, but not only for like a, a girl that loves to party, just all girls and all everyone. So for me, it was just, it was a song for everyone that loves to party like myself. So I'm excited to talk to you when you eventually go to Vegas and hear I if know. it's like adds up it to what horrible. you want. It was horrible. the song. I got beaten up. I'm working on your debut album right yes. now. What can fans expect? What are, you, what are you putting out there for us? Well, the debut album is called Contrast. It's a contrast from what people will expect. Mm -hmm. It's a contrast from what's already out there. And there's a contrast within the album as well. Like, you know, there'll be big upbeat dance tracks all the way down to, you know, the slow ballads that everyone used to love that I covered on, on YouTube. What do you hope with your music, like fans take away or what's like, kind of the message? For me, it's just, I want them to enjoy it. I want them to listen to it. I want them to kind of listen to it maybe when, when they're not showing their friends and they're literally just by themselves and they, that's something they want to listen to, whether it's because it helps them through a situation they're in. You know, there are songs that are for heartbreak. There are songs that are for, for party. And so there'll be songs for different situations. And I just want everyone to take my music and, and use that for the different situations that I've written it for and I've, I've sung it for. What do your friends and family think back home? Is it crazy for them? My my friends and family, like, you know, they think it's absolutely insane. I've made sure that I'm surrounded by my friends and my close friends and my family that, make, that you know, they treat me like the same idiot that I was. Kind of, before all of this, they make sure that I keep my feet firm on the ground. What were you like in high school? I'm curious. I like being with my friends, mainly. I like going to class and being my friends and then seeing them at break and all that kind of thing. But I did, I did take work seriously. Do do your work. Don't. <laughs> it's just a place to chill. It is a place for work as well. So I did do that. And I have to say, I think you have awesome style. Thank you very much. How is this? How? What's the inspiration for you? Yeah, I think <laughs> I just like kind of having bright, kind of this is me kind yeah. of colours kind of thing. So, so yeah, definitely. Um, especially when you're doing a show, like you want to be kind of noticed and and seen from however far away they are. And it's on the sneakers, right? Exactly, it's on the, it's on the sneakers. You just seen, I did a <laughs> performance at Wembley Stadium, 80,000 people. Oh my gosh. I wore luminous um, green <laughs> shoes and you know, that's the talking point. They didn't even care about me. Look at the shoes! <laughs> that was the, yeah. But you know, it's, it's, it's always cool.